Nope. <laughs> I hit a big puddle. Now I got some Quebec mud on my van. We're off to a good start. It went all the way up my window today, man. There was a, a few big puddles out there. I don't know why. It seems to be just a, 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 little, a little moment of excitement for me. You get a little bit of mud from every province. I had a problem with the mud in Prince Edward Island though. There was no access to it. All the land on Prince Edward Island is mostly owned, so they don't have that crazy backcountry out there. And then I bombed through one mud puddle. I seen a mud puddle, I bombed through it. By the time we got back to town, it was gone. <laughs> How do you say Quebec? Is it Quebec or Quebec? Quebec. You have no idea how nice it is to see clear water. Everything out on the East Coast was always like a tea or a coffee color. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's go, baby! How am I supposed to read that? That is not in English, my friends. The only thing on there that makes sense to me is... Thankfully, I got someone to translate ahead of me. Ah, oh, at that water. <laughs> wow. Man, have I ever missed clear water. Wow. I have really missed seeing clear water. Here we go, my girlfriend, making me do the dirty work. That's all right. Yeehaw! Doing the dirty work is a lot of fun. That's the end of that road. Yeah, this road's like grown over, babe. Doesn't go anywhere. Huh, I do the dirty work. And she left me. <laughs> oh yeah, she full sent in. Uh, wait a minute. Maybe that was that was she just like it's clear water. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> hey, she got sneaky. She's like, oh babe, go check out what's up there. Boom, see ya. Thanks, Emmy. Thanks. All right, so that's uh, a <laughs> full-blown street sign. The Trans-Quebec, oh, see? This is where the, uh, remember I said I was running into street signs? That's got a snowmobile there on the top of it. Um, I was running into a lot of stuff like that in New Brunswick because the backcountry in New Brunswick has tons of ATV trails and there was uh, full-blown street signs back there. And the first time I see one, I'm like, what the heck is that? Yeah, it's for all the snowmobilers here, apparently on that one and all the uh, ATV guys in New Brunswick. It was pretty cool. cool. All right, Emmy, where are you at? Emmy! Oh, I see dust. She's up there. I see a little bit of dust up there around the corner. When Emmy put her heater on her van, she popped it out right there and it looks like a look, Just looking at your wiener, babe. Just talking about your van's wiener. You have, you have a dirty wiener, babe. Your van's wiener is dirty. All this dust out here in the trail. And, uh, go ahead, get your foot through, bro. 
Excuse me, Crazy. You gotta come through. Hi, buddy. And uh, I left my window open. That means all that dust is in the van. Oh, you feel it's just a holy, just a layer of dirt in my van. Look at all this. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Bro. All that dust is not just from my side window, my back doors. Um, I don't know what to do about it. Door seals on this van are so expensive. And every time I find one of these vans, like at the Auto Wrecker the other day, the back door seals are completely destroyed. Whatever, I gotta go guys. My van's talking to me. Rude van. Why don't you say excuse me before you go bing, 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 bing. Don't worry, the new cluster is on its way. I still can't get enough of that. <laughs> oh, so nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Clear water for the wind. Is this ever beautiful? Oh, look at the rocks on the hill over there. Look at that, amazing. Coming down here and seeing the ocean after being in the backcountry in the dirt is a nice surprise. <laughs> she, she, sometimes, she sometimes sounds so excited. Yep. Look at all the dirt on my van. My van clearly had a ton of fun in the last couple of days. So did hers, but it looks like it had half the fun as mine. <laughs> if you want to base fun on how much mud's on your vehicle, I had half the amount of fun. You just said you had Ah, sh <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm super scared to look back here. Oh, oh, oh. Things are falling out. Look at the dust in here. Look at it. This is inside. Holy, look at, the, look at that. Oh my gosh. Maybe it is time for me to just bite the bullet and go order myself, myself, oh, go order myself a brand new rear door seal kit. They're just so expensive. Look at that. Think about that. That's just on my fridge alone. That is probably all over in there. Well, we officially christened the new fridge freezer in the back country. So if you're gonna take a review on anybody's ice cold fridge, wait, wait a minute, because I definitely will put mine through the abuse test for sure. <laughs> Stick around at the end of the summer and we'll see if this thing lasts the long haul. It takes a lot of banging and bouncing back here. Oh, to look at the dust in here. Look at this. Oh, oh. this beer always wants to run away. My poor floor. Oh my gosh. Look at that. sesame seeds to make it look fancy. Look at that. Where's it going? Emmy's having lunch over there. Oh, the 
like making corn. No, I got this other sausage stuff. No. 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 Huh? Vegan reacts to fake meat. It's not good, right? That one's not good. Yeah, so guys, if you're gonna buy fake meat stuff, it's trial and error. Now I'll never buy the brand called Gusto. <laughs> Are you guys playing tug of war with the corn? <laughs> really? I ask you to help me. <laughs> I did, I grabbed my camera. <laughs> Are you okay there? Yes, I am. Chris said, like, give me that piece back. <laughs> I just about had it. <laughs> it's on your face. It's splattered all over. I guess my whole trip out here, I'm just going to have to rely on, like, pictures. Hey, hey, no pooping. Oh, never mind. That's a lifeguard. <laughs> that does not. What do you mean, no pooping? See, okay, we can paddleboard. We can kayak. We can walk children. We can, we can... To wear a life jacket if we wanted to yeah babe i hope restaurants all have pictures all of them or i'm going to be in a whole lot of trouble out here won't be able to afford wouldn't be able to afford wouldn't be able to eat anything look at this just from a little bit of backcountry that one is just about coming off the frame rail Everything inside of me says to put a screw through it. But then everything on the other side of me says, don't do it, dude. And then your roof's gonna leak. Check out this guy's trailer hitch ball cover. Love it. Look at that. Emmy found a nice little spot here down by the ocean. She's gone over there to see how warm the water is because if it's warm enough, we might go in for a dip. Hey, Chris, you want to come outside, buddy? He wants to so bad. Well, those guys out there on the boat, just chilling in their chairs. <laughs> as soon as you zoom in on this thing, it looks like a video game, like all the pixelated and stuff. <laughs> Horrible. Seriously, bro? Are you serious? You're just gonna roll around in that stuff? Cruzy. You expect me to put you back in the house after that? Hey, are you serious? You get the tap is shut down. We cannot get water. But we need to probably get the tap on the Hey, buddy. <laughs> It's that time of the day. Ooh, look at the frost on here. <laughs> look at it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a getter. I had it in the freezer earlier. Let's hope it's not frozen. I got you treats today because you're being a very good boy. No, oh, you, you gotta ch chill out. Hey. You've been very good, except for there. Okay. Got him. <laughs>
It's so nice to see it being that cool outside. So it's 19 degrees Celsius outside and 25 degrees Celsius inside. I got my fans and stuff on. My roof vent is open, pulling out all this heat and bringing in that cooler air through the side window. So fingers crossed in about a half an hour that this will be the same temperature as outside. That right there, that right there is the sign of an icy cold beer. <laughs> I seriously have to do something with all this stuff. So during the day that stuff goes here, well, except for the pillows, they go over there. I'll get stuffed behind here, and then at night it gets stuffed back there. <laughs> I gotta, I, I, I need to find a place to put this stuff. Or maybe I should just stop hoarding items inside of this van. I do house a lot of things in here. A lot of overstock items, like I have propane bottles at the wazoo, couple bottles of cleaners. I'm just trying to think of things off my head. I got a bazillion large packages of wet wipes. I seriously have a stocking problem. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe if the world does come to an end, I'll have lots of propane, lots of wet wipes, lots of food, lots of beer and things like that that I seem to overstock in here. Lots of clothing. I got a bazillion shirts and a bazillion pairs of shorts. To be exact, I have 11 pairs of shorts and one pair of pants. And I didn't count my shirts. <laughs> I would start counting because I was going to throw it in this video. I'm like, I'm not counting. I have way too many more shirts than I want to admit to. I think that was just the pandemic that started me doing that. Started me thinking about, okay, stock, stock, stock a few things. Because there was times you go in and buy something and then you couldn't find it. So I'm like, what are you going to do? So like propane. I just overstock it now and wet wipes. Well, it's just cheaper to buy them in the great big box and then buy them out of the individual packs. Anyway, guys, I, I could babble your face off all day. Today was absolutely amazing and it felt so, so good to get some of that Quebec dirt on this van. That has been a little pleasure of mine as I travel through the provinces. I got to throw some Nova Scotia dirt on my van. That was fun. I got to throw a little bit of New Brunswick dirt. A little bit of PEI dirt, which never really stuck, which kind of sucked. I was hoping to drag some of that PEI dirt around for a little while, but nope. And now I got some Quebec dirt on my van. I don't know. I like dirt. <laughs> what can I say? I like dirt. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with a small little story about the people that are parked right beside me here tonight. I met the couple that live in that RV that you've seen in that little shot out of my side window. They just finished selling everything that they own and moved into that RV. They sold it all. They quit their jobs and everything else because they were hoping that on the other side of dropping it all is something epic. And I find it takes a ton of courage. I had to build up that courage to make that. It's hard to cut ties from what's comfortable. And what I have found in life is that once you get out of your comfort zone, that's where you feel like inside of here that you actually truly truly start living your life when you're in that comfort zone i find it's just like your mind's like just goes about your day you're comfortable you got your job you got your people around you and everything's just normal every day the same thing every day and breaking that everyday little loop is incredibly hard because that loop is comfortable you know what to expect out of every day so when I meet couples like this, they get the courage to drop everything. We're not talking about a solo person. We're talking about a family that drops it all for something crazy on the other side is such a beautiful thing. So if you're going to take something out of this video, go outside and play in the dirt because it's fun. And the more dirt you get on your vehicle, the more fun you had. And uh, believe in this and here. What your heart is telling you is what it really wants. So go chase that. Okay? Don't listen to the noise of everything around you. Don't listen to the voice of anybody around you. Listen to this voice, because this one knows you the best. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.